What's up folks, Trip Smith here, and in this video, I wanna go over with you guys some electric pumps for your inflatable stand-up paddleboard. Now I have four different pumps here, and these pumps are not created equal. And I'm gonna share with you guys what I think is the best pump out of these four, and I'm gonna go over a few things with y'all, like the different prices, the different features that the pumps have. So first, let's talk price. How much are we gonna be getting into with these things? First up is the Airbank D6 Pro. This one is $169. The Outdoor Master Sharp is $140 currently. The Outdoor Master Whale, this is $240. The iRocker pump, which if you just get the pump, it is $97, right? And if you get the pump and the separate battery, it is $172 currently as a recording of this video. I know price is very important, but I think maybe even more important than price is features and like the capability of the pump. And if there's one that's not going to do what I need it to do, then I'm not even gonna consider the price. And that is going to be the Outdoor Master Shark. Now I'm gonna take this one off the table simply because the rest of these have batteries. That leaves us with these three gems. So this pump I've had the longest. I've had this for quite some time, maybe two years or so. Whenever I got it first, I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. I finally have a battery and I don't have to plug this thing into the wall. So I thought it was fantastic. But then I got this bad boy and this thing, it has an integrated battery. So all you do is charge it and it will pump up three boards on one charge. When we talk about the actual battery size, the iRocker pump, this has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. The Whale here, it has a 6,000 milliamp battery. Our Airbank has a 7,500 milliamp hour battery. Quite a bit larger battery capacity here. So this one has said that it can blow up five boards, three boards, and I don't know. I remember the first time that I used it, I almost used the entire battery. It seemed like I got down to one bar, I do believe. I think, don't quote me on that, but I think that's true. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to lie to you guys. I'm gonna try to be as honest as I can. That's the best I can remember. I just haven't used this thing in a long, long time. Now, one of the next most important features for me is how small and portable is my pump, right? Because a lot of times, you know, we're throwing this in our vehicle as we're going off and going paddling, or like me, I'm also throwing it in my boat a lot of times, and I really want something small and compact. So, as you can see, this pump is three different pieces. Not very great to grab and go, right? This pump, hose is separate, batteries in here, and it's uh, fairly sizable. However, this pump, wow, the hose is integrated around it. It actually pops in pretty good, so it's not gonna be coming out on you. Boom. And also, on the underside, this has an integrated little charger here for a cigarette lighter, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I kinda wish it was just the outlet. And then also, I put the little adapter in there so it'll hook to my paddle boards. Now this one, another great thing that I really liked about it is it has a storage compartment in it where it has you know the 110 outlet adapter here so I can plug it in wherever I'm at. But you also have the cigarette lighter adapter in here too. So that's pretty handy. Now this one, I do have to worry about grabbing the charger because most of the time when you charge these things, let's be realistic, we're charging them from an outlet. Or I am at least and surely you are too, right? <laughs> But however, I do have to consider that, well, how often do you use the pump? You'll use the pump one time to blow up your board and then you'll use it for the day, come back and you'll go back home where you have access to an outlet and your charger. So do you have to have your charger with you? Not necessarily, but it is nice to have it. Overall, when it comes to form factor, grab this sucker and go and you have everything you need right here. Now specs on these bad boys are interesting for the Whale here, stage one pumps at 350 liters of air per minute. Stage two pumps at 70 liters of air per minute. The iRocker board, it didn't state what it does. But stage one on here is 350 and stage two is 85 liters per minute compared to what I say 70 liters per minute. So it's a little bit faster. So that then brings me, okay, which one of these would I narrow down and call out of the group? That probably would be the iRocker pump because of the smaller battery and it's three separate pieces. So here we are, we have these two pumps left. This pump has a bigger battery. This pump pumps faster. This pump has a better form factor. What's another big one? Oh, this pump is much cheaper, $170 versus $240. Which pump am I gonna take with me wherever I go? The Airbank D6 Pro. This is what you need, get it, go paddling.